Hi there, this is Nikita Net. So on the desk today is a Zalmon, another Zalmon, and yet another Zalmon. And all three are ZA, well, let's see, 1225 ASLs. This is the 4PS model, and this is the SL model. And um, the funny thing about these is, well, apparently they're uh, sleeved bearing, 12 volt, 0 0.16 amps. So uh, this one is the most busted one because it kept just, well, making a record. And I'm wondering, this one which I pulled from the streaming PC as well, all three came from that thing. Um, can I repair it or at least open it up and see what's in here and unlike the Gelitz which you push out and well disassemble that way this one just doesn't want to pop out which is very annoying there's also no plane in there so I'm guessing it's captured and we're going to find out so let's see if we can peel this sticker off here and see if it's this is the most busted one that's why it's the experiment and there is nothing here that's interesting so Let's get the sticker off entirely. Are we sure about that? Because, yeah. So either there's something under this sticker, which isn't the case, which basically means you need an extraordinary amount of force put upon the fan blades to pop it out. Let's see if we can do that. And not really, that's interesting. Now there is more play here. Oh, that already was there. Wow. <laughs> yeah. However, that's okay. That's okay. Let's take a look at what we've accomplished. But I think this thing isn't serviceable at all. Alright. As you can see, it popped out and broke the shroud. Right. This is also breaking, so it's done. However, take a look at this. There is play in there, so it should be able to pop out. Um, don't do this at home, as they say. No, I am going to just jab it in there. So, about half a minute later, with two screwdrivers in there, leveraging it out, I'm seeing something very interesting. There is... A sleeve in here there is bearing grease in here we're seeing the I would say the stator and this is the rotor which is a single magnet very interesting and yeah if you look at this that thing here I'm not going to zoom in it's basically a wall so you can't really push against that to pop it up which basically means that on the other side of this there should be something keeping it captive which is terrible because that makes this design unserviceable which is fine I don't mind um, this one is done as well, 
Yeah, that's a little bit of a shame. Looking at the plastic, it's brittle. Yeah. So these came with a Zalmon Z3 Plus case. Um, were included with the purchase and uh, functioned fine until they didn't. Could have, well, been used longer if they were a better design. So I feel, feel, think uh, that they are prematurely worn. That's though something else. And that's entirely up to the price point these are produced at. And yeah, that's that. that. That thing busted out before it popped out though. That's well wondrous. So this is Nikita that's saying, some of these you can't service nor repair. That's just a fact of life. And if you're lucky enough, pardon me, with enough force you can push them out and yeah, here's the same issue. It's basically captive and properly at that as well. So you'll you'll pop the back out before being able to even get at this. So yeah, this is Nikita that saying thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.